Well, if you can read it, this is System G from IFTEX. Removes gum and varnish deposits from the injector and carburetor. Keeps intake, val intake valves and combustion chamber free of deposit and build up. Eliminates drivability problems such as rough idling, hesitation, bow acceleration, restores engine performance, maintains peak engine performance and gives fuel economy. Can be used with both leaded and unleaded petrol. Does not uh, harm the catalytic converter. Reduces smoke and harmful emission. Recommended for all petrol cars and jeeps and Indian imported makers. From Indian or imported makers. Um, yeah, so one milliliter per liter of petrol. So that would be 10 milliliters for 10 liters of petrol. And just so that you guys know that I use this too many influencers now in, in the market. <laughs> so don't really know what to do or what to say. Um, I have, I used to sell this back, uh, yeah, oops. I used to sell this, like we used to run a business, me and Arun. Used, we had the first uh, or maybe one of the five um, motorcycle performance parts outlets in Chennai. I could claim first, but uh, yeah, then that will be a lot of problems for uh, unnecessary problems that I would be inviting my way. So that's down the foot pipe or the esophagus of the car. This is a Honda Jazz 2009 and runs as good as new. So when using this fellow on the car, That's the Honda Jazz. I've not used this on this. I've used something else. I've been using this regularly on this rally machine. <coughs> well, this... <coughs> this is a wonder uh, product for the price that it retails at. 360 rupees for 200 mils. Um, on Amazon, this comes pretty cheap. Um, um, I'll share the link of the product in my description. You guys can buy it from there. But we'll keep this aside for a moment and we'll talk about this. Now, with all the eth uh, ethanol blended fuel in the market and all the jazz that's going on, um, if you have a vehicle that idles, like this fellow, this fellow idles for sometimes more than a week or two weeks sometimes before I can I get a chance to take it off on off-road sometimes the car idles for over 10 days 15 days sometimes yeah yeah it's saying 15 days sometimes so these two vehicles idle for periods like two weeks at best and uh, this fella this fella idles for uh, over a month sometimes. Yep, so a, a change of scenery, I believe. <laughs> and this is all the stuff that I have to maintain motorcycles. That's the bunch of cans. Um, I mean, this you would find in any garage for that matter. It's just that I am no garage yet. I will have my own garage in, in, in a short time. But this is until the time being. This is how I have the whole of it consumables, um, you know, uh, what else, maintenance goods. Um, this is one brand that I would recommend to all of you. Please go and check this out. Solid, solid brand with very, very good chemicals inside. That'd be all my glues. This is all my assortment of nuts and bolts that I've managed to gather, collect, beg, borrow, steal over the years. <laughs> Smallest ones slightly bigger ones and then really big ones even uh, rubber grommets name it name it you have it have it not in there and then that would be the mini grinder and that's the you know heavy duty drilling machine kit uh, torque wrenches uh, sorry vernier caliper um, these are uh, it's a very old box um, iron box for all the uh, bits We'll talk about that later. And this is all my 
medium sized tools this is all my smaller tools special tools that's uh, threading business for that's heli coils mesh sheets uh, tap uh, drilling bits uh, heli coil um, these are some special tools uh, feeler gauges and some rad special tools um, then this would be my uh, himalayan both 450 and 411 parts this would be all the electricals and that's an ugly helmet helmet out of the way um, that this box has all my electricals and wiring related that's a bunch of wires you get to see that's a lot of wires a lot of couplers that i've managed to gather collect over the years that's a speaker that plays music while i work on my machines and this is the tool business cordless drills is a chinese company does the job um, in there is a a big size drilling machine then i have heat glue guns then what else do i have what else do i have oil droppers then um, a spare battery then what else do i have a hammer a saw and all that jazz and that's a bunch of bags well coming back to uh, m soil so yeah um this is a stabilizer this what now this would be a very interesting topic so as you guys saw i have three machines three machines sit uh, idling for periods longer than one week sometimes and with the 20 percent ethanol that we are running i'm already starting to experience some uh, minor hiccups in the 411 the 411 is starting to show symptoms of um, ethanol blended fuel though i have not used very rarely like when there is no way i'm in the middle of an off-road trip that got a little delayed or i you know i rode off to um, more new uh, you know i mean i i spent more time on the trail than usual or i i was a little too harsh on the throttle than required i end up uh, consuming a little more flu uh, fuel than what i had planned for then is when I need to fuel up from uh, petrol stations that I'm not sure of. And with the kind of fuel today in petrol stations that you don't know, I usually fill up from Shell or uh, Bharat Petroleum. Uh, I uh, have the Speed 95 filled up or I have Shell unla Super Unleaded, Unleaded filled up. So with both of them, there's about 12 to 14 percent ethanol. And then with any other fuel station, there's 20 percent ethanol. So the 411 starting to show issues what i did was i uh, contacted mini shopee uh, on instagram mini shopee i will attach their link i will attach their instagram page i will uh, th th those guys cut me some slack i mean they gave this at a discounted price to me and i'm really thankful and grateful because what this has done is uh, i pour in a certain amount into the tank i will talk to you about how much works for uh, uh, how, how many liters of petrol but once you have that poured into your tank this takes care of the ethanol business this doesn't allow ethanol in the tank to mix with moisture in the air and settle as water at the bottom of the tank so this keeps the fuel um, fuel mixed with ethanol in that state it doesn't allow for ethanol separation to happen and this takes care of any gunk uh, build up and this is this is something that you can use with every single time of free fueling or with every uh, fuel stop you can add this to your depending on one milliliter per liter, liter of petrol so this works like that and this works strictly for fuel that is sitting in your uh, tank motorcycle tank car tank this has been a, a, a godsend if you ask me um, because this is going to take care of the uh, ethanol part of it it's not going to separate from the bloody uh, petrol and you know um, mix with the vapor in the car or uh, in the car tank or the motorcycle tank and then cause issues yeah so long story short um, highly recommended both these products this is to take care of your uh, uh, fuel system. This is a regular cleaner of sorts. You Once in a while you can go in with uh, injection cleaner or just keep using this. This is, um, so I, I used to run the, 
<coughs> I still have it. Um, so I used to run this once in a while. And, and the funny thing is, um, forgot about this fella. Uh, we used to sell this. So I just uh, looked, in, looked at Amazon, looked into Amazon for this and got it back. And just out of some good luck, um, I had this, this was in stock, ordered uh, some three, four cans and have started using it. Now this is my third can, by the way. I have two more, I guess. That's another. Well, I might have kept it in the car itself. Yeah, yeah. So this is for the motorcycle. One is for the car. And uh, yeah, so I've been using this regularly. No problems, no issues. The vehicle runs absolutely fine. And this gives me all the peace of mind because this keeps the petrol uh, as petrol, whatever petrol it is, 20% ethanol, 15% ethanol, 12% ethanol, it's not going to separate. The ethanol is not going to separate because of this. Yeah, 3.1 or 2 per uh, milliliters per liter of petrol. And I use Yeah, there you go. I use this fellow. I use this fellow to I use this fellow to calculate the amount of uh, gasoline stabilizer and uh, this has the measuring chart on top so nothing to worry so yeah I use this fellow and this fellow does the job you can get all kinds of uh, you know uh, apparatus to do your job no problems so highly recommended mini shoppy dot in I guess mini shoppy dot in I will attach their link I will uh, mention uh, their name in the video you guys can go and check them out they were kind enough to cut me a good discount and um, so yeah wherever it is that you get this from please go ahead and get this and this this you can find in my amazon storefront onto wheels uh, shop you'll find this anyways i'll attach the link as well okay fellas so if this helped it helped ben signing out for now ciao